A world of fighting talent is just up the street in Ludlow this week. ABC 40's Jeff Fallon tells us what brings the who's who of mixed martial artists to town. You either stick with it, you keep uh, evolving with the game, or you get left behind. But these guys are in town to spar with the best. Mixed martial artists in training camp at Camp Link Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in Ludlow from Manhattan and New Jersey, but also as far away as Brazil and Spain. We need some training partners, and, uh, you know, I like to help when I can, and, you know, I like when people come and help train with me, so uh, it's also it's a great team, so I got the opportunity, and I couldn't pass it up. One of whom is also a Ludlow police officer. I used to be just a full-time fighter, so now that I have to put the job in between, I have to get my rest in between. I, it's definitely hard, but I, but I love doing it, so if you want something, you gotta make some sacrifices. No sacrifice here, though, as they all gain from sparring unfamiliar opponents. Uh, really important just training here. We have a lot of uh, talented guys here, like your Ricardo Pines. Names that might not ring a bell here in the States, but some quite famous in the sport and their home countries. Many of them get stopped all the time. People come in to just ask for their autographs quite frequently. Oh, boy, three. But all business just the same as they tune up for a rumble in Rio. I never see these guys so motivated to a fight. They just come back to UFC. And this fight, I think, will be the best for both. That was Jeff Fallon reporting. Those guys do sometimes lose some blood, but they also give it. And they are planning a blood drive at the studio at 34 East Street in Ludlow on February 11th. And, of course, if you want to donate, you can stop by if you're interested in the sport. They say you can drop by and visit.